Okay, so, if you've been with the channel for a very long time, we're talking at least two plus years, it's probably closer to four, uh, you'll recall we played Woody Woodpecker Racing, I believe we did it at least once. I think I remember hating it, but I also remember Chili Willy being involved. Um, yeah, we played Woody Woodpecker Racing on the um, PlayStation 1. This is not that. This is the Game Boy Color version of Woody Woodpecker Racing. And having seen screenshots uh, prior to setting things up, this is going to be a treat. I don't know how to delete data in this, and I kind of look that up real quick. I scored like uh, I scored I scored ten uh, Game Boy and Advance games for like twenty bucks total. Definitely did not want that. Okay. What's the select button in this? The select is the start button. But start is the start button. Oh, no. So, okay. Select is the X and Y. I paid attention. Okay. Sorry, it's been a while since I used this functionality. Options here. It's probably an options, and I'm just an idiot. Play data. Yeah. We found it. Although I'm impressed that the battery still works. Like, it looks slightly offset, and I realize it's because it offsets the the one you're using when you use it. Alright, so. Oh, good, we can go lowercase. I love it. But I don't have enough letters from Nako Bun, so we're gonna do the continents version. Alright, so let's do a Grand Prix. On easy sounds good. And judging by those character sprites, that now you can now you're realizing what we're getting into here. Yeah, this is gonna be a thing. So we got Woody, Winnie, who's slightly better grip. Otherwise her stats are not any different. Not head. I don't remember any of these characters. Wally Walrus, I remember. Oh, I love that. That nope. Message Smedley. Let's go, Woody. Pretty default. How are you supposed to tell them apart on the course? Like, I hope there's an arrow over your head because this is ridiculous. Go to the city. We can go to the beach. We can go to the western area. We can't go to the actual city. City. Here's the deleting files. Okay, basic courses. I don't have any upgrades, okay. Tunes aren't bad, though. Credit where credit's due. I'm not, this, is, this is some jams right here. Do I have to do something? Yes. But it automatically progress. But yeah. Theory is a little stiff. I 
by a little, I mean a lot. Although, yo, credit where credit is due. They really put some, uh, some love into these sprites. It is car responsive, uh, yeah, car relative steering, which is good. We got boosts, we got explosives. It's super stiff controls, and which bugs me because, like, this was at least published by Konami, and they knew what they were doing when it came to Konami. Okay, Konami Crazy Racers. So we found invincibility. Basically, just got us back into the mix. Barely, we're in fifth. Punch it. I guess letting off the accelerator. You only have two buttons. I guess the only way to break would be to let off the accelerator. Don't end up in the sea. Alright, we're doing a little better. Fourth place. I'm digging just the whimsy of the music. And little, you got the, like the little tail feathers in the back of his head off to the side there. Considering the constraints they had to work within, I'm suddenly feeling like this is more legit. The grip issues you have with, uh... The oil slicker slightly extended, kind of like RC Pro-Am. It's a good blend of, like, the whole item-based, uh... Mario Kart economy and... Your whole standard top-down thing. So, fourth place. Passable. Maybe. So Ms. Meany and Chili Willy are unlockable, and Buzz Buzzard, so who else are we missing then? Because there were four unlock slots? Okay, so you can get a starting boost, as I just did into that guy's rear end. Everybody's hitting boost, and I'm just getting destroyed. Oh, the auto hop there is kind of cute. I think that, that that little bit I just drove over is a conveyor belt. I feel like I was going faster than I should have been. Okay, I guess you could presumably use that to jump over somebody. I feel like in easy mode, top speed is probably your better bet. This balance nonsense is just not doing it for me. Oh. Destroy that guy. Fires the missiles and nobody, apparently, but jerk. 
Oh, I probably have more than one. Okay, they're dumb fire. I think I hit a second item block, that's why. That was a choke. Yeah, okay, so probably on these speed Okay, I can see it moving now. Not exactly easy to see it moving when you're going through it, but oh. Third place, alright, we podium, baby. Alright, hope. Oh. Thought we'd have a chance to upgrade in between, but okay. Let's go to the speed ring. I love the theme here. This is good. Oh, it's a pit stop. Okay. You wanna go through the speed ring? You gotta have the speed, he says. He totally misses. Yeah, please don't hit me with the missiles. I mean, obviously the music was made on the same device as Link to the Past, but that's like the... That's the sound font I'm getting out of this, which is cool. Also, mixed feelings about the whole, uh, being able to hear someone else using invincibility. Okay, well, I will say this definitely looks better than, or, yeah. In motion, this looks a lot better than the screenshots, I had me believe. I didn't catch the release date, but I think this was, like, 2000. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious. Thank you for not hitting me in the butt. You know, now I'm in sixth place. Perhaps it was not meant to be. A lot of this feels like you can, like, you're gonna want to do course memorization. That's like how you get better at Wipeout and whatnot. It makes sense, given it's a Game Boy game. You're gonna want replay value, and you're gonna want something to keep kids occupied at the car trip. On the way to McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Can we raw dog it? I like. I love the oh, joy your little icon has as you pass people. The fifth place is not gonna salvage this pony. That's gonna be a wash. Oh, that beer's done, so. Alright, okay. So, grade limit three. Well, how do I get more grades, though? I'll try a different mode. Extreme just sounds like it would be more difficult, right? Guess we'll try a sprint. Yeah, I legit have no idea how to earn grades, so...
I don't know why I went with Woody again. We know he sucks. Top speed wise. And in easy mode, top speed is king. I feel like I would be better off if I stopped turning in between stuff so much. I should mention that the PS1 version of this game also incredibly unforgiving, so... At least they kept the spirit of that in this version. If I, fin if, if I finish this glass of beer... Oh, I forgot I had two of those. Then we will finish whenever the beer finishes, but... But yeah, in, in easy, just grab your best top speed guy. That's the way to go. The little bump effect was you go over the bridge. That's pretty cute. I didn't notice that before. Is that like eight directions of spread rotation? Or I think that's uh seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I think that's twelve directions. Three. Four? Yeah, there's like here. We'll see how many in between. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh, that's 16 freaking degrees of uh, sprite rotation. That's really cool for Game Boy Color era. And a lot, like a lot of uh, effort, well, yeah, a lot of love put into the Game Boy Color game. I'm trying to find what joy we can because I'm getting trounced here. Okay. Let's at least look at some new courses. Go to the beach. Welcome to Beach Street, which presumably would be on the beach. Yeah, okay, you can kind of wiggle your way out of that start. This beach theme is amazing! I love the music in this! We're gonna find the soundtrack. You get a little speed bump with the hops too, so... As in, like, a good bump. Boost? That's the word I'm looking for. Unless I miss every other boost in the course. And this stupid dog makes me feel bad about my life. wall there. Now you know. I'm kind of curious about those cones. We're going to try and blow through those. Like, why are there two lanes here? This is weird. keep running into walls because I'm not paying attention. And then there were explosives. The spin though, that's so luscious. Yeah, aside from the difficulty, there's a lot to love about this game. I've been thinking a lot today about like how I'm gonna separate out the uh, stuff for the project. Like, what games to talk about and whatnot. 
It's basically like I gotta trim it down. There's you, you know how much stuff we play on this show. And like how much of it is just like shovelware trash or quote unquote asset flips. Like I gotta we get, we gotta get things down to historically notable stuff. For coverage's sake. And then work from there. The project being the whole history of racing. Hey, what's up, Black Hole? I didn't quite see what you said about uh, a mix of, but we will get through this lap and finish embarrassing ourselves. Uh, what was that? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's, it's RC Pro and it's got the Mario Kart like uh, item and boost economy. Okay. Um, let's change core. Actually, let's change driver. Give me somebody with more max speed. Smedley here. We'll go to the desert. I still don't know how to get those upgrades. But yeah, for Game Boy Color, this is pretty solid. <laughs> I kind of want to back out to the title screen to see if it really was 2000 like I thought I saw. Because I don't remember the life cycle of the Game Boy Color. This also reminds me, I've had a good pupper tonight. One of my co-workers just got a German Shepherd puppy. Because that's what you do when you go to the, uh... I think I just launched a nuke. Um... Yeah, that's what happens when you go to the pedigree pet store and... I don't know who this gorilla-looking mucka is, but I'm a train now. I guess that puts people to sleep? Delightful. Little tune there. I wanna know, who's that character? I wanna play as them. It looks like Marvin the Martian, but that's the completely wrong franchise. And again, this was released alongside a PS1 version, which we played years ago. We'll probably revisit that. But it was similarly unforgiving. Okay, it does put everybody to sleep, but not the murder way. But yeah, really sweet German Shepherd puppy. Because this co-worker just kind of acquired... She's not an animal hoarder, but I feel like she might turn into one one day. Because she just got a kitten the other week. Granted, she saved that one from, like, homelessness, which was all right in my book. And she found it at uh, one of the other bars that, in the area. And it didn't seem to have a mother hanging out. It's definitely at least six weeks eating solid food. Kudos to that. Oh, finally straight up murked somebody. Still in fourth place. Oh, that's a problem. I love this look of sheer disappointment in the self that, uh, that hit, but... And I honestly kind of wish I had more familiar in Tex Avery cartoon. Is it Tex Avery? No, Tex Avery. What do we pack with Tex Avery? It's, uh... It says his, the creator's name right at the intro screen. I already forgot it. And I watched a fair amount of these as a kid, so... Yeah, PS1 had this, but it was more of a behind the, uh... It, the more traditional by that point, behind the character view. Like, it's interesting tracking ports of this era. Early PS1 versus before Game Boy Advance happened. Because... Like, this has... Yeah. Woody Woodpecker Racing has this for the Game Boy... For its handheld version, whereas... If you, uh... Like, I was trying to find it this weekend at, uh... This past weekend at Long Island Retro Gaming Expo. Um... Toy Story, uh... Racer for Game Boy Color. Same system. Does the behind-the-character thing. And recreates most of the courses really well. The character sprites are about four pixels wide. 
but it works somehow. Like you kind of get that, you still get that pseudo mode seven look. On a Game Boy Color, which is pretty. I mean, to be fair, if you've ever seen like all the, the videos on like the uh, the unreleased Resident Evil Game Boy Color port and stuff like that, the machine like had the capability. Or they squeaked the capabilities out of the machine, probably with some additional chips and the cartridges. By the end of its lifespan, but uh, yeah. So, much like the PlayStation version, I apparently suck at Woody Woodpecker Racing, but... Yeah, the year 2000. And Walter Lance, that's the guy I was thinking of. Um, yeah, it's a cool idea, but it hates children, apparently.